Hey YouTubers, this is Tequila here. I am here to do another quick and easy video on um, an easier way to do acrylic nails. Now I know you've seen my past videos where I show all the design nails that I get online and I showed you, you know, you glue them on and all that good stuff. Well, and I've had a few people tell me that they don't like to glue them on because then they'll get water underneath and then they'll get a fungus. Well, there's another way that you can do it getting acrylic-like nails with the design someone else has made when you don't have time because I'm really busy. As you can see, uh, my videos have slowed down because I'm really, really busy. So I don't always have time to do the designs on my nails. I mean, I still do it. I just don't, I'm not able to do them every other day like I used to. So I just wanted to show you a few of the nails that I've gotten. And um, we're going to do a set so that you can see what I'm talking about. Acrylic-like nails with the press-on nails. So... I'm going to show you a few that I got. Here's these right here. Green, shining. Very pretty. You know, and you can't even make that shine with acrylic. You cannot get that color. So, there's one. And I actually got it in purple. It's that foil look. I hope the camera's picking it up. And then a pink one. Like they got little fishes on it. I thought that was so decrepit. I don't know. That's cool. And then here's these with the sculpted flowers on them. That um, so if you don't have time to sculpt your flowers, there you go. No, they're upside down. There you go. <laughs> okay, and then I got these. Let me bring them up closer so you can see them. Let's see if you can see the foil look better up close. You see it? It's very shiny. I'm probably going to end up doing one of those today anyway. Here's another set. Oh, this one's, these are gorgeous. Which if you paint your nails, those flowers aren't hard to do, but you know, still. Did I show this one? I think I did. No, I didn't. It's another foil one. And look at these real pretty brown tips. And these are cool. There's one with butterflies on it. And these I really just loved. Okay, and then I got some Halloween ones, uh, orange ones with spider webs on them. So, um, I think I'm going to actually do the Halloween ones, actually. I know it's not Halloween time, but I'm in the mood for orange. So, let's get these. I'm going to set these out and get all my sizes out, and I'll be right back. You know what? I changed my mind. I am going to do these foil-like with the little fishes on it. Just so you can see how to get foil nails really easy and acrylic light. Alright, so I'm back. I think I maybe need to get a brighter light. Okay, so now I'm back and I'm going to start with a thumb. Okay, so I'm going to start with a thumb. And I'm just using clear acrylic. Now, if you use a pink nail like this, you can use the pink acrylic and it would actually make this pink more vibrant. You know, the clear pink nail. So, um, when putting on the pinker nails, I suggest using the pink clear acrylic because it just it makes it more vibrant. Alright. So, I'm going to get my thumbnail there. And you can do this two ways. You can either fill the nail with the acrylic here or you can put it onto here which um, I'm doing it this way is easier because then you cover the entire nail and you, of course if you want to use a primer and all that stuff you want to go ahead with that which I should have done because my nail beds get to be very oily so you're just going to cover the whole nail as fast as you can because and as wet as you can keep it because you're about to press. Can I play Gangster? And then don't want to say game can I? And then I want to do my style, okay? Who's playing gestures? Oh, we. Where at? Mimos? Not here. Okay. And then you get the nail and then you press it on to the acrylic. And then press it really hard. You want it to press into the acrylic. Okay, and then you get some 
liquid acrylic and you go around the edge and take off whatever has gushed out the sides. This is a lot like a poppet nail, only you're leaving this on. Okay, you want to press it really good. Make sure you get all that off the sides. Your acrylic has completely covered your nail, so there's no chances of water getting under there and you're building up a fungus and you have acrylic on your nail and absolutely no glue. And you know glue is really bad for your nails. Anyway, so we didn't use glue at all and these nails stay on just as long. And you just want to keep pressing and it'll dry. And they stay on just as long as if you went and got your nails done. Okay, let me do another one. And you do have to do this pretty quick. Make sure that the um, acrylic is really wet. And then you press and see how the acrylic comes out the edges. And then you want to get that off the sides and press. Okay. And there's the second one. So I'm going to do the whole set and I will be back to show you how strong they are. Alright, and here is the finished nails, as you can see very beautiful very strong just like acrylic you see that it's actually you know how if you hit your nail when you get your acrylics done that's what that felt like but anyways so here they are finished strong no chance of the water getting there no more chance than if you went and got acrylics done absolutely no glue on the nails at all you know glue is very bad for your nails there's no glue on the nails so this is just another easy alternative to um, getting designer looking nails these nails actually cost me a dollar forty nine so yeah and they will last just as long as acrylics would last you so thanks for watching guys and if you have any questions or if you want to see any more videos like this just let me know I'll see you at the next one stay blessed guys